everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. I know you love my look, but I wanted to show you a get ready with me from the perspective of someone who is colorblind and has no idea what they're using. And I'm going to show you how I apply makeup, even though I don't know the colors. The only thing that I have done at the moment is applied my foundation which is the Primark foundation. Let me see what it's called. So the Primark foundation is my perfect uh, color and I am in the shade ivory. So that's what my foundation is. I've also used my double wear uh, concealer, which is, I don't know, I can't see this, this color. And I have contoured and applied a little bit of bronzer and I use the Chocolate Soleil Too Faced Medium Dark um, con uh, contour to contour. So before I start going all ooh, weird, I'm going to use my Clinique, what is this, Clinique uh, blush in Beautiful Blush. It's number 100. And this is the color. This is what it looks like. So that color. I have been told by the Clinique lady that this is like a neutral color that you can wear with whatever you want. So this is me being safe. I'll just apply a little bit. Whoa. Wait. So I've applied a little bit of blush and a little bit of um, uh, my bronzer and I'm just going to try to blend it in a bit upwards. Okay. I'm also partially sighted so if I make little mistakes it's because I can't see well guys. Now, okay so this is the Makeup Revolution uh, New Year's Eve uh, palette or whatever it was it was on offer at superdrug for 10 pounds so i got this i got this but i haven't seen anyone so i haven't asked anyone about the colors so this is the highlighting palette and these are the colors on the highlighting palette i have no idea what they are they do have names on the back side but usually the names are really really weird so these are the names and then this is the this is the eyeshadow palette I see sparkly bits and dark bits and I don't know what this is gonna look like anyway I'm going to choose a highlighter these are the colors on my fingers so this is the this is that one this is this one this is, the, oh sorry, this is that one and this is this one. I know that's an amazing way to show. I think I'm going to go with this one. I don't know, it just looks a bit less dangerous, but it could be like purple or something. So I don't know. Okay, so I'm going with this one here. Ah, I'm going to drop it. So I'm going with this one here. I'm going to put my Smashbox, um, what's it called? I don't know, this is for contouring and highlighting. I'm just going to put it on my cheek and the side of my eye and see what this looks like. This is so much fun. I don't know if you can see it, actually. It might be BAM. So this is what it looks like on the side, maybe a bit more. very creamy it's not very powdery so I hope I'm not putting like a green highlighter on a bit on my nose Cupid's bow where the eyebrows are on top so that's my highlighter okay so I've put on the highlighter which is we don't know what color I've put on my pink brandy Max Factor lippy. Now I'm going to work on my eyes. Now, my you can see my eyebrows here. I need to go to Superdrug and get them plucked. 
Uh, you know how some people were doing January hairy? I'm doing February hairy. <laughs> I need to get these done. So let's ignore my brows. And then let's see. I'm going to have a look at the colors in the palette and try to decide what I think goes. So I've put on my hand two. I've put this one here and this one here. And they're these two colors. And I think I'm going to go with this one which is this one here, I have no idea what color this is. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to use on my eye. I'm not going to combine anything because, as I said, I have no idea what color these are and I can't match them. So I'm just going to go for one and show you how I would apply it because of the color blindness and the partially sightedness. And then I'm going to, yeah, see, finish off my look. Okay, so I've put a little bit on my makeup brush oops ah uh, let's see hang on i'm going to turn off the camera because it's going to be a bit hard for me there's fallout i'm using a very big fluffy brush i'm going to move on to my other eye turn off the camera and fix the whole thing so this is just one first fluffy. Flip through the eye. Flip through the eye. Uh, way to go. Great vocab. Um, let's see what's going on because I can't see. Okay, so I've put some on my eyes and now I'm going to wet my brush and try to put some more. Okay, so I'm going to use my Makeup Forever spray, Fix It spray on this. Ah, ah, ah. And I'm going to put this. Hang on. So we have this colour. I'm going to put the my brush in it. And now I'm going to try to add it to the lid and see if it shows up a bit better. Okay, now because it's hard for me to pack this on on the uh, camera, I'm just going to go off camera and see what I can do by adding uh, water to my brush and going into these colors. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I used this one. I packed some more on with a wet brush. And this is what is mainly on my lid. So all the lid with, um, like the, most of my eye, with this one without uh, water on it. And then some with the liquid with uh, water. Uh, the, what was it called? Makeup Forever splashy thing. And then ah, I used this in the inside corner. I don't see, I don't know if you can see that. And then I used my Clinique mascara and a little bit of benefit uh, the clear gel so that was me being adventurous now it would be amazing if you actually told me what color is this what did I end up using so what color is this what color is that do they match and also this is quite hard for me because I can't see so I don't know where my eye like where the color ends and if I've put the same amount on both eyes but these are struggles struggles with people who are partially sighted like me have and people who are colorblind so just to give you an, a, a way just to give you some insight on how people like me do their makeup and what it is and we might love makeup but it's really hard especially when you don't have clear color descriptions that would make the color choice um easier for me a new pair of eyes would make the you know whole makeup application process easier for me as well so i'm going to put on my glasses so thanks for watching let me know what you thought let me know if this looks completely terrible but in a nice way it doesn't have to be mean give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you thought it was interested interested interesting and if you're colorblind or partially sighted give me advice how do you do your makeup leave some comments in the boxes below I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.